The toll eye all-purpose back support is ideal for any occupation involving bending and lifting. Thousands have already been sold. Phil Ansell is a technical officer here at the Turret Field Research and Development Institute north of Adelaide. And he wouldn't start his day without the toll eye all-purpose back support. Tony Pavlovich, the creator of this marvellous product, has spent years singing its praises. Now Australia and the rest of the world is ready to listen. And one Sunday I was watching a skydiving show on television and I got the idea of converting a parachute harness and putting the rest of it together that way. <coughs> what is actually happening, Paul, is you've got a lumbar hip and pelvic support and the front elastic belt, when you tension that up, supports all that area. But being elastic, it still allows you freedom of movement to bend and twist, but support that area at the same time. Then you have your leg straps in conjunction with your shoulder top section of the harness with the back elastic as you can see and by setting that adjustment it's a transfer of body weight right from the hip points of your top torso back to your legs and buttock area. Current tests that have uh, been conducted by Professor Pat Trott at the School of Physiotherapy at the University of South Australia they're showing that there's 25 percent less pressure on the spinal area. Phil Ansell typifies what many people have faced within their day-to-day -day job activities, some of which is back-breaking work. The Toll Eye All-Purpose Back Support gets his boat every time. If you think of the, uh, uh, the workforce, uh, the cost of the workforce of back injuries and so on, I think this has the potential to save millions of dollars. Um, I'm a person that has a, a crook back from time to time and, and I find this, this has been terrific since I've been using it. Just generally doing a lot of back work uh, and uh, we do it I guess periodically so we're not out there every day and, and this makes us very susceptible to back injury and when you put on a harness like this uh, you can go out and do those sort of periodic jobs and uh, feel free from uh, potential back injury. Brian Hannaford is a retired general manager of a huge corporation, a top flight executive who now finds himself doing all of those day-to-day -day jobs he's promised Mrs Hannaford he'd do. He swears by the toll eye all-purpose back support. And the very fact of putting the harness on makes you aware of um, your back and all the associated things that can go wrong. So putting it on is a bit like a prophylactic. It's, it's, it's the start. You know you're going to do some work and it's an aid to certainly to throwing the weight from your back down to your uh, legs. And so if I'm shoveling um, compost or I'm uh, digging in the garden, so forth, it's a must to put on. Government departments, individuals and private companies like Hardy's see the value of the Toll Eye All-Purpose Back Support. Production's Michelle Launer says the support is fantastic. Well, Paul, we've had very positive feedback from the men that have worn these. Uh, we've found a significant drop in uh, the number of back injuries that we've had. So that has, has been a great adjunct to our safety policy, um, which includes safety glasses and hand protection and hearing protection, this is now an, an extra um, protection that we see for our employees here at BRL Hardy. Now for the fitting instructions. Release all pressure from back elastic by lifting base of buckle and pulling elastic through leaving enough elastic to grip hold of to adjust with. Place arms through the two shoulder straps ensuring that the leather shoulder pad sits high on the neck. Ensure that the back leather tab is centralised at lower back. The back belt must be across the lower lumbar area, normal belt line. Now the front elastic belt must be buckled up just below the normal belt line. This elastic belt must be adjusted firm to support the hips, ensuring the back leather tab is in the central position. Buckle up leg straps, ensuring that the leg straps are adjusted to be firm. About one finger width between leg and leg straps. Should they be too tight, the straps could become uncomfortable. Too loose and the bottom of the support will ride up. Ensure that the leg straps remain high on the upper thigh. The front chest strap should be done up now. The back shoulder leather pad should be set in the vicinity of where the neck meets shoulders, nape of the neck. Ensuring that the front shoulder straps remain twisted outwards, just below the chest strap. Adjustments are made from the two front straps at the hips. These straps should be firm enough to ensure that the shoulder pad remains at the nape of the neck across collar line. This ensures the wearer has freedom of movement and a more comfortable fit. Keep as much distance as possible between the shoulder leather and the lumbar leather when in their correct positions to allow the back elastic to work correctly. Adjusting the elastic between the shoulders and the lower belt, the back elastic must follow the spinal column. 
To increase the tension, the wearer must lean forward and pull elastic end. To release tension, lean forward and lift the bottom of the buckle up with the thumb or fingers. It is important that this elastic is not over tight or the wearer will be fighting against it. Too loose and there will be no support at all. When in the upright position, there should be no tension on the back elastic. Adjust tension to suit bending requirements. A guide to adjusting the back elastic is as follows. For a full bent forward position, shearing, brick paving, etc., place the full width of your hand at the knuckles at 90 degrees to the back between the spine and elastic. This adjustment is also recommended for the proper lifting procedure with knees bent. To be suspended at a higher level, adjust elastic tighter. If you have had elastic tighter, always release all pressure from the back elastic before refitting back support. The Tolleye all-purpose back support can save millions and millions of dollars and painful back injury. And that's a fact. It's the only one of its kind in the world. Uh, I hold the paint on it. For some people that have been under work cover for 18 months, we've got them back full-time within two weeks.